is known as El Maestro and coached some of the best in Salinas. Action News 8 reporter Jake Flores has more on his life and legacy. I am going to miss him so much because uh, I'm not going to have those phone calls no more. And I know um, Rock Boxing Gym will for sure miss him a whole lot. Luis Sanchez mourning the loss of his boxing coach, Genaro El Maestro Romero, who passed away this week. Maestro was a local legend in the Central Coast boxing scene. Originally born in Sonora, he ended up moving to Watsonville. In the 80s, he moved to Salinas, where he would establish himself as one of the best coaches in California. The legend of Maestro's style, Maestro's boxing technique grew. He had the great Jose Celaya. He had uh, Jesus Vega and many more great fighters. El Maestro made his mark as a boxing coach, but to those who knew him, he was more than that. It wasn't always about boxing with them. And when everybody thinks of Maestro, they think about boxing, but Maestro did a lot for other people. He was not just a boxing coach. Since he was an elderly guy, he, I saw him more as like a grandparent. I never had a, a grandpa. So thankful he was a big part of my life, a big part of boxing. Central California will always remember him. El Maestro's legacy will continue to live on. Rock Boxing Gym plans to honor him with patches on their team's fight shorts that commemorate his life. Genaro El Maestro Romero was 81 years old. In Salinas, Jake Flores, KSBW Action News 8.